So just as the White House former chief of staff, now the Chicago Don, Rahm Emanuel famously said to the Wall Street Journal television, don't let a good crisis go to waste. They are using this Ebola situation that is undoubtedly the worst Ebola outbreak ever. Undoubtedly the worst Ebola outbreak ever. To sell more global handling of tracking the disease. And I want to explain something. Interviewing multiple medical doctors, Harvard medical doctors, you name it over the years. And a lot of articles have been written about this. You can look them up for yourself. There's a lot of evidence that Ebola was developed in laboratories and then released in the jungles of Western and Central Africa in the last 30, 40 years. And that as it mutates, it will become more aggressive and even airborne. And then one of the heads of the University of Texas Biology Department, who I want to do another special report on this week, may even do it for the nightly news tonight, Dr. Eric Pianca, who is a global exterminist. He believes that at least 90% of the population should be reduced. His acolytes, his graduate students that are now medical doctors, PhDs, microbiologists, responded to us criticizing him six years ago and the FBI visiting him by sending me open letters that we published saying, listen, we will exterminate everyone. Pianca is not radical enough. Humanity is a parasite and must be dealt with. In fact, here's quotes from the Texas newspapers that reported on it out of Houston. I watched in amazement as a few hundred members of the Texas Academy of Sciences rose to their feet and gave standing ovation to a speech that enthusiastically advocated the elimination of 90% of the Earth's population by airborne Ebola. That's what the newspaper reporter quoted to the Houston Chronicle. They weren't politically correct yet properly to go, of course we must exterminate everyone. While speaking to the group on a giant movie screen behind him was projected piles of skulls from the Rwanda massacre in 1994 with a red filter. And I've seen photos of that. You can look them up online. A man standing there saying, I pray for the blessed day when the airborne weaponized Ebola is released and 90 plus percent of the world dies as blood hemorrhages from every orifice. And now, Hundreds and hundreds of deaths spreading all over Africa. There are now people on the ground in Germany that have Ebola. They're treating people at hospitals in Germany. A man collapsed before he could get on a African flight inbound to Minneapolis, St. Paul. That's the top headline up at Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and DrudgeReport.com from the Daily Beast. He could have brought Ebola here, Minnesota widow, on her husband. Patrick Sawyer was supposed to be with his kid's birthday party in a few weeks, but he died of the virus before he could board a flight to Minneapolis. His wife spoke out on the epidemic's toll. Nigeria felt a chill from the hot zone when 40-year-old man collapsed and died from the dread Ebola virus after flying there from Liberia. That hot zone chill now reaches America with word that the same man was scheduled to fly to Minneapolis in time for the August 16th party celebrating the birthday of two of the three young daughters. Because let me tell you, you can say this Ebola's hype. It's not. This is the most serious Ebola outbreak ever. Hands down, the scientists are on record. This just popped up on Drudge. Part of CMR ER roped off. Officials say patient being tested. The corridor 
of the medical center's main emergency room was roped off on the first floor. This is in Charlotte, North Carolina. At Carolina's medical center near the entrance Wednesday, a security guard was posted outside to prevent anyone from crossing the line. The question is, is it Ebola? By the way, the heroic African doctor who has treated thousands over the years for Ebola has died. Here's the headline. If Ebola hits U.S., even healthy Americans will be quarantined. Persons who do not show symptoms would be forcibly detained. If you come in out of an African country that they think may have this, they're going to lock you up. The bigger question is, why are they making a big deal out of this? It is a big deal, but why are they making a big deal out of it when they've covered up basically flesh-eating bacteria, killing people across the board, jumping into their lungs, and drug-resistant and drug-immune staff? and strep and all the antibiotics they feed the farm animals that we then eat. Congressional report, Ebola bio kits have been secretly deployed to National Guard units in all 50 states. They're preparing. Remember, they've been pre-deploying for massive outbreaks. Again, could this end up being another part of the crisis? While our border is wide open and Africans... Pakistanis, you name it, it, was in the news yesterday, are just pouring across by the thousands as the border is wide open, but then they're going to use it to take your rights out there, America. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at Infowars.com forward slash show or become a member of Infowarsnews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.